This is going to be a short video explaining the two types of orbits in Stormworks and how you can get into them. So for those who just want a quick answer, to get into the geostationary and or Lagrange point orbit, you just need to fly straight up and point straight towards the moon the entire time, because it is going to start moving across the screen, but just point towards it the entire time until um, your Y value from the astronomical sensor is about 0 0.612. That's I believe 300 kilometers, which I think is the geostationary orbit height. For the horizontal orbit, you just want to get to about a Y value of 0.1, which I know is outside of the atmosphere, and burn horizontally until your speed is about 452 meters a second. Now I'm going to demonstrate those. So to start off, I'm going to just go straight up in my rocket. I'm just going to fly straight up at about 0 0.08 from the astronomical sensor, the Y value. I'm going to start seeing the moon and then I'm just going to point straight towards it the entire time until I reach a Y value of 0 0.621. My Y value is about 0 0.7. I can now see the moon, so I'm just going to make sure that I am pointed straight towards it the entire time on my way up to my geostationary orbit. Any minute now, the moon and Earth, they're going to start doing the thing I was talking about where they start moving really fast across the screen. There they go. So you can see now the moon is moving really fast that way. The planet is shrinking really quickly, at least in comparison to before. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep myself pointed straight at the moon. And the reason is because my horizontal velocity, it's staying low. So that means that I know more of my velocity is in the vertical direction. And so I can just keep myself pointed towards it. Now, you may have noticed that I'm using my boosters the entire time. In reality, you don't need to do this because you do have some sort of momentum. I'm just doing it to speed up the process because I don't have too much time to record this video. And my Wi-Fi is about 0 0.55 astronomical units. So I'm going to turn my position hold now just because I want to try and coast up to the 0 0.612 and stop right there. I might have done it a little too early, but we're going to see. It'll be close enough. So as you turn on your uh, position hold or whatever method you want to use to start stabilizing yourself, you're going to notice that the X is going to start going negative. I believe geostationary orbit is always going to be at negative X, just like all the satellites. And the Z value is usually some small negative number like just barely negative but it can vary as far as I know um, but yeah All right, my x value has hit negative 1 so you can see my horizontal speed has it, it just went from like 300 to 30 and it's going to continue to decrease I'm going to turn off my or I'm going to keep my rotation hold on actually and then it's going to decrease decrease and I want to try and stop it at 0 I can't get it perfect. I don't know why I was doing fine earlier, but you can see my vertical speed. It's hardly changing. It's changing very, very slowly. My X value is not changing at all. My Z value is changing just a little bit because I can't get it down to zero for some reason. I don't know. I did it twice, but that's how you get into a geostationary orbit. So you could put satellites up here, space stations, just don't no clip. Otherwise, oh, wait. Nope, I lost it. Oh wait, no, it's right there. So you see, usually whenever you no clip and you're not in geostationary orbit, you lose the vessel forever, right? But because I'm in geostationary orbit, it's just moving at like 20 meters a second. It, it, it's going. But yeah, if you can get that down to zero, you should be okay. So now let's do the horizontal orbit. So the horizontal orbit and method is very similar. But instead of going up all the way to 0 0.612 um, astronomical units, or you know, 300 kilometers if you want to be odd like that, you only go up to 0 0.1, which is like uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. You only go up to 0 0.1, and your orbital speed. You need to be going about 452 meters a second. And, you know, that's kind of as fast as 
you can go in a horizontal orbit. But yeah, this time instead of flying straight up to conserve fuel, I'm going to break the velocity into two, two components by flying at a little bit of an angle. It's called a gravity turn. And I'm just going to continue to ascend until, like I said, my Y value is 0.1, and then I'll show you my horizontal speed. So, if we look at the Y value, it's about, it's well, 0 0.08. I like it at 0 0.1 just because it's a better number. But you can see my horizontal speed right now is really high. But if I just turn off my engines, you're going to see it. It fluctuates right it wants to be at 450 and so it's gonna be at 450 you can see my Z value is changing really quickly my X value is changing really quickly my Y value is going up that is an indicator that I'm in orbit because I'm not falling back into the planet so that's how you get into a horizontal orbit just go 450 meters a second almost exactly so that's all that I have. If you have any questions, please ask. I'll try to answer them the best I can with what I know. And thank you for watching this video.